I've got to work with a lot more heroes. I worked with David Byrne, who's been such a huge influence on me. And I've got to work with Frank Ocean, who's one of my current, probably my current favorite musician. Really, just making a living out of doing music feels like quite an achievement. I'm David Wrench, and my studio is currently based in London Fields. Obviously, if you go into a room with someone who is like a good person and chilled out, but also incredibly talented, there's every opportunity for something good to happen. My artist's name is Graham Pax, and I'm from London. So we just try and make some really spacey pop music. Yeah, dream pop sounds good. Dream pop. Yeah. I've got this really old 70s drum machine. You get like a little loop going on that, that's maybe... My brother got an electric guitar that introduced me to that kind of realm. I've written many, many songs on the guitar. I'd really try and avoid formulas if I can. I want it to be an exploration for me as well as the artist. I'll pull stuff in and out and we'll yep. maybe structure it as on the go. Yeah, sweet. Like just having a well-built instrument that really does its job properly. It just makes my life so much easier. I know I can give certain instruments to people and they'll inspire them, however good a musician they are. I always figure there's gonna be something about how myself and an artist will interact that will create something new. On the session today, Ali's just improvising some vocals and then working around that. Sometimes I'll write the tune and then in the like digesting period where you're like listening to it and you're like feeling it and you're like coming to understand that extension of like you, it can hit you quite hard. I'll just ad lib until... Yeah, just try some stuff out, yeah. see what you like. Break in, in, it was like the first time. Sick. I'll see the pace and move. It was like I'd known you the whole time. So the fairest guy started, ever known so. And you could tell, and. Yeah. But it's working really well. No, but it's sort of you're lifting up it, not. Just, yeah. Uh, but it's really melodic and it's really strong. You get too close and shift your weight. You balance it on me. You're reaching out your hand. You know, if, it's, if an idea's there and a song's there, it will happen in the first like three or four hours. And if it doesn't, then. You, I get really tired and I know it's not going to work and I want to go home. You can put in every element that you need and it still might not work. So it's like lightning. Can't happen every time. The guitar is so melodic. There's so much opportunity there. Like, you can use it as a rhythm instrument. You can use it as a melodic instrument. Writing songs, a lot of it was just experiments, running everything through everything else, seeing what, what would happen. Sometimes you know you've just nailed it. And I think what we'll do is we'll edit then. We'll start chopping and structuring it. I think what's most likely to happen is we'll put some stuff down today, live with it, and then come back for half a day and know what we're going to do at that point of having 
lived with it and listened to it. I think if you're writing the song, like you know, you've got to live a bit of life first and feel something, and then you've got to want to say it, and then you've got to figure out how to say it, and then you've got to be in the right room at the right time with the right person. The stuff I keep going back to is stuff that, for some reason, connects deeply. You know, there's no right and wrong in music. There's no, there's no wrong sound. There's no wrong way of doing something. It's just the whole point of music. You do what you want. There's no rules.